Now let's say that we've created the shape, but we need to change some things. There are two ways that we can do this. One is in a feature, which is an extrusion, and the other one is in a sketch, which would be our 2D sketch with the lines. I'm gonna show you how to edit both of them and what they kind of both mean. So the easiest way to do this is to use your browser over here on the left-hand side. You see that we have extrusion one, and that one actually allows us to go through and edit. If I click this little drop-down arrow, you can see that sketch one is part of extrusion one. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on extrusion one and I have two options. I can edit the sketch or edit the feature. Edit feature means that anything that was done in this 3D models tab, which in our case is an extrusion, can be edited. If I go to edit sketch, that means anything inside the sketch tab can be edited. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say I wanna edit the feature. Now, right now it's at seven and three quarter inches. Let's say I really wanted that to be 10 inches. So I'm just gonna type in a number 10 and hit okay. And now I change that to be 10 inches. I can always go back and edit it if I'd like again. So let's say I really want it to just be five inches. So I can go ahead and hit okay. And you'll notice that the size changed from what it was before. That was 10 and then this is five. So that's a really, really easy way to go ahead and edit things quickly and easily without having to hit the undo button or change things that you don't want to. The other option you have is going through and editing the actual sketch. So I'm either gonna right click on extrusion one and go to edit sketch or I'm gonna hit that little drop down, right click on sketch one, and then I can go to edit sketch. Either one works the exact same. Let's say that this line, I really don't want it to be there. I want it to be a little more pointy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on that line and then I can hit the delete key on my keyboard. It's gonna go ahead and remove that line. And just to back up for a second, if I right click on that line, I can also go to delete. So if I made a mistake, I can delete things really easily. From there, I'm gonna go back to my line tool I'm gonna find the endpoint, I'll click once, move it out, and then I'll click again to make sure I have a closed loop that does not cross. When I finish my sketch, it's automatically gonna update the sketch and it's automatically gonna update the extrusion. You'll see it here in just a moment. So you'll see that it popped in there. Now, if you have an error, you may have done something wrong, you may not have a closed loop, or you may have introduced some conflicts, but for basic editing, you can go through and do things really quickly and easily. One other thing that you can do, if you go back into edit sketch, if you say, let's say this is an entirely wrong thing, we need to edit everything and start over, you can click, hold and drag with nothing else selected. And again, just make sure you hit escape a couple times. It's the easiest way to do it. You can click, hold and drag, get this red box over everything. That will turn all of these blue, which means you can then go ahead and hit delete and it'll get rid of everything. And then you can go back and redraw whatever it is you need to draw. So let's say this is what I wanted to draw. Now, when I finish my sketch, I may have an error and I'll show you how to fix that real quick if we do. In this case, we did not, but if we did, what we would do is we would right click on this, we delete just, so we'd uncheck this button for the consume sketches, we just delete that extrusion and then we can go back and put that extrusion in and it would be set and ready to go. Hopefully that helps you on being able to correct any issues you may have inside of Inventor.